hello friends welcome back in today's video we are going to see how to monitor the gpio status for the esp32 we are going to make use of this uh, library called gpio viewer library you can visit this github page and go through the information given over here so let us see how to use this library in arduino ide we are going to follow these steps given over here so first thing is download this uh, latest stable release of gpio viewer library so we will download it so now gpio viewer is downloaded this is the version 1.0.7 now we are going to download this ESP async web server zip file now it is downloaded let us go to the next step we need to install this async tcp library in the Arduino IDE And at the same time, we are going to check whether we have got the latest ESP32 boards. So let us go to the Arduino IDE. The first step we are going to do is to include this GPIO Weaver and the other library into the Arduino. So add zip library. So library is installed. Let us go to the next add this. So this library is installed. Now let us go to the sketch again. Go to include library, then go to manage libraries. Then we will write here async TCP. this I have already installed so I'm not going to install it then next we are going to go to the tools and go to the board then go to the board manager this is the Arduino ESP32 board and I have got the latest version that is 2.0.13 go to the files then go to the examples to go here to GPIO Weaver and click here. This is the code for GPIO Weaver. So this library is included that is GPIO underscore Weaver dot H. Here you need to establish the connection with your Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to write the SSID of my router that is the router and then the password as so here the GPI viewer is initialized and starts its operation here the loop is empty now let us select the board I have already selected the board as do it ESP32 dev kit v1 and select the port which I have already done so now it's time to upload the code so ensure that you have connected your ESP32 board to the laptop so click here on upload compiling is going on so now code is getting downloaded into the ESP32 board the code is flashed now let us start the serial monitor now board is connected with the Wi-Fi and now we will copy this uh, address and paste it into the browser So 
so here the web page is open you can see the status of the pins I have selected this ESP32 room and now you can see the pin status over here TXD and RXD pins are high pin number D5 is also high and pin number D15 is also high and here D14 is high so let us try to ground the some of these pins I'm going to ground this TXT pin let us see what happens so now it has become low next pin is RX it has also become low now we will try to make the D14 low by grounding it Now we can see we could monitor the status of the GPL pins. Now let us try to include this GPI viewer into the some application. So, so here is the application where we are going to toggle the pins. The pins are GPI 13, 12 and 14 so let us include the gpr viewer code over here we'll copy this from here and paste it over here and then next in the setup just paste this code over here now let us flash the code into the ESP32 board so uploading is done let us start the serial monitor again So GPI Weaver is connected to the Wi-Fi and copy this address and paste it into the now you can see the GPI 13, 12 and 14 those are getting toggled this is how you can use GPI Weaver into your code to monitor the status of your GPIOs so thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed the video if you like this video then please hit the like button please share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to this channel thanks again and have a good time